to another episode of John D. TV with Burke's Homes. Here we are at day 25 at our Mountain View home that we've been following. And again, that's 25 days after the start of construction. So we have a couple weekends thrown in there. Um, we were here yesterday and you saw they were finalizing the second floor walls. And today they came out and they set all our trusses. So I just thought I'd show those to you. You can take a look around. You can see we have some bracing in here. Here's some here, it's called stringer bracing and some diagonal. And that's just uh, very similar to the bridging that we put in the floor that I talked about to help tie everything together as one unit. Obviously the OSB sheathing, we use 17 16 inch sheathing with little plywood clips. You can see them up there at the seams. And that helps to hold everything rigid in between the uh, roof trusses. So we tie all that together, it helps hold the roof really square. And uh, when the guys, I'm not sure if you can get it on camera, but how they fasten them down to the top wall plate, they actually hand nail with 16 penny nails down through that gusset plate for maximum strength. Um, typically when you would stick frame a roof, you're just toe nailing through the wood and you can have major risks of uh, wood splitting or cracking, you have to add extra straps. But because we have those gusset plates, that gives us some really great additional strength. Um, so they got everything set here. You can see this is a little cathedral room area. When uh, This is one of the great things about engineered trusses. You can have any kind of design that's all figured out. And uh, one, one reason I can point out to you about this engineering is when you have a bonus room such as this over the garage, when we send our plans in to the engineers at, we use Birch products for this area, um, when they're laying out these trusses, they can figure out what the weight load is going to be and it provides great structural integrity here. You can see we have two by sixes for uh, good insulation value and strength and then everything ties together. Rather than a stick framing where you know, you're not really sure this is tied together, this is so much stronger than a stick frame built area. So this is a nice addition over a garage to use this space above your garage here for a bonus room. Um, you can see they didn't finish the OSB on this side here and it, it's good, it gives us some light that I can point out that we have these extra little, I'm going to call them little tiny rafters up there, little trusses. And the reason that they're put on top there like that is because the trusses are so big that the, uh, the truck couldn't haul them on the road. So that last little bit, that last little 18 inches, they actually have to put on, and that's just to get your peak in the roof. There's not any issues, you know, it's not a scary structural thing, but it just helps them be safe when they're driving down the road. So next week, today's Friday, uh, next week they'll come out. I'm sure they'll finish the OSB on, the, on top of everything, and then what they'll do, I see they have a roll of it over here. We actually install an ice and water shield along the bottom edge of every roof line that meets a gutter, and uh, what's that going to do is prevent ice damming. Um, as people have experienced in some of the winters, when you have a heavy snow load on your roof or a, or a deep snow load, um, with, there's natural heat loss no matter what. There's heat within the roof system just from the sunlight outside. And that insulation, or I'm sorry, the snow is like insulation. It provides, um, it keeps the heat from escaping. And actually what happens is the bottom layer of snow can melt and run down. And when it comes out over this soffit area, this is in a heated area, it freezes and ice can build back up. So this first three feet, this is an excellent, it adheses down to the OSB to prevent any water infiltration. And then from there we continue up with the tar paper. So that's a really good thing to you know, keep, have a peace of mind, especially in this Pennsylvania area. Over here, one more thing I wanted to show you. If you take a look out here, you can see our model home. And it's just another great reason to come check us out here at our Mountain View community down outside Morgantown, Pennsylvania. What a great view. I'd, I'd be happy to have this bedroom, that's for sure. So take a look. We have a lot of great communities. This is just one of them. www.berkshomes.com. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.